Hey everyone, we've got a uh, tutorial video for you guys today about creating schedules. Um, so the purpose of a schedule, I've made a few here and I'll, I'll show you guys how to get to this point, but the purpose of the schedules is to track things like your rooms, uh, so how big each room is in terms of square footage, so you can see here my, my house over here is actually pretty small in total, uh, but you can name the rooms and you can tag them. Uh, similarly, we'll do the same with the doors and the windows. Okay, so I'll kind of show you guys how to get started with this. I may, uh, depending on time, we'll see if we can do all of them. Uh, but the first thing I did was actually I went to my floor plan view and I duplicated it. So remember, you can right click, you go to duplicate view, and you can do it with or without the detailing. I personally just like to go to duplicate, and then I created one that's called room tags. Okay, so I just right click, rename it, and uh, create it. room tags. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the room tags themselves. Okay, so... Um, a pretty straightforward way of doing this. Uh, I like to go here to the architecture ribbon and I'm going to tag rooms individually. Okay, so under this room and area, there's one that says um, tag room. Actually, I'm going to go select room first. Okay, so uh, in this option, what you can do is uh, you can room tag with area. Okay, so uh, let's actually go down here. You can room tag with area. And when I come over to select each one of these rooms, you can see that each of them actually kind of pop up. Uh, these have been already tagged once, and that's why you're kind of seeing them showing up here again. Um, actually, let me see here. Okay, so I actually already created some of these. So you can see, though, as I, as I hover over them, they have these uh, tags on them. That should give me one. Alright, so again, sorry about that. I had to go back through and actually delete that room schedule so I can re-tag them. So here we go one more time. I'm coming under room and then room tag with area over here in the properties palette. And now if I come over to each one of these, you can see that it will kind of turn light blue. And it has to be in an area that is um, kind of closed in. So I, I notice I have to click on, go to each one of my rooms here. And once I click on it, it will tag it as a room. And I also get... Um, the square footage of each of those, right? So I'm going to go to all of these sections, hover over them. It'll give you a little preview, and I'm going to ju I'm just clicking, okay? Just a simple left click for each of those, okay? And I've got this on tag on placement, so I've got all of my rooms tagged. Uh, the numbers there are not terribly important. That's just based on um, since I had done this once already, it's kind of renaming or going through the the next set of numbers. Okay, so at this point, I can go to each one of these rooms and I can rename them, right? So here I have my living room. Actually, this is kind of like a great room and kitchen. And what you, if you want to, if you need to kind of split these up, notice that I kind of have this open as one big space. Uh, what you can do is separately, um, you can set, uh, kind of set up your own um, areas as needed, uh, but I'm just going to use kind of the built-in walls here. Um, this is again just for the sake of example. So if you want to be more specific, you can do it later. Okay, and again, feel free if you want to rename them uh, or even reuse some of the numbers, uh, you can do so. Okay, so uh, I'll I'll just kind of go through each one of these. This is kind of the master bedroom, for example. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and change this number to the second room. Um, so yeah. All you can see here, I'm just clicking and then clicking again um, and renaming these based on what each of these things are. All right. And uh, if you want to, if things are getting kind of cluttered, you can always right click on different components. When you right click on it, you can go hide in view and you can hide different elements, uh, things like that. So. Uh, if you want this view to be a little cleaner, uh, for example, maybe all these outlets don't need to be shown in our, our room schedule. Um, so I might hide the entire category, for example, and I'll hide all of those. Okay, so uh, feel free to do that. You can also drag these little tags around um, so you can kind of show things as needed. Um, or if you need just some space to show it, you can do that. Okay, so that's just again. Uh, you can kind of go through as as needed, uh, rename all of these. Actually, for the sake of example here, I am going to rename all of them so that we can see that in our room schedule. Okay, so um, here's got the bathroom. There's another 
bedroom number two, I'll call it that one. And then I've got my laundry room over here. Let's see if I can select the room tag. There we go. And this is the laundry. All right, so again, I've got, I've renamed all my rooms. Um, they have the square footage associated with them. If you want to change the numbers on them, you can. Uh, that's not terribly important. Uh, while I'm on this screen too, I'll go ahead and show you guys um, you can also tag all of your windows and your doors at this point. Um, so I like to just come over here to tag all. And at this point, you can go here. You can click on door tags as well as window tags. Uh, hit apply. And you notice that all of my doors and windows are now have numbers associated with them. Uh, so I can use those as well. Okay, so next up, uh, I'm going to come over here to schedules. This is a, in my project browser. Right click on that and I'm going to go to new schedule. Okay, so uh, again, I'm going to show you how to do a room schedule. The door and window schedule is very similar process. You can see here there's doors. Uh, you can also do windows, but uh, the example I'm going to do right now is rooms. Okay, so under rooms, uh, I'm going to go schedule building components. All that looks fine. I hit OK. Okay, so here, um, here I'm going to have to choose a few fields. So the first, uh, just for the rooms, I'm just going to choose the names that I just created. So I select the available fields. I hit this add parameter and it'll show up in my scheduled fields and I also want to show the area that I just showed you okay so uh, area select area add parameters uh, now before I hit OK I'm actually gonna look over some of these tabs so under filter <coughs> uh, under this filter tab uh, you can filter by certain name or area okay I'm, trying, I'm gonna leave that uh, next up I'm gonna go under sorting and group okay so here I'm gonna sort by the area I'm going to have it go descending. So it'll be the largest area will be the first, and then it'll keep going sub -sub subsequently down from there. Okay. Uh, after that, I also want to check down here under grand totals. Okay. So <clears throat> um, check under grand totals. I'll do the title count and totals. I'll do all of those. Uh, next up, a really important one under formatting. Come over here under area. And I want to make sure that I hear, show here under no calculation. I wanted to show calculate totals. Okay, that'll give me the total square footage of uh, of my house. And then finally, under appearance here, I'll go to um, uncheck this blank row before data. Uh, I think it just tidies up your view a little bit. At this point, I can hit OK, and it'll create my room schedule for me. Okay, so I see here my room schedule includes uh, the names I gave it. It's got the total area in terms of square footage. And the total shown here, 889. And now, uh, if I want to, when I create my sheets, I have my schedules to uh, that I can pull in. This will show all of my rooms uh, separately. As I was saying earlier, I do the same thing for my door. Uh, when I do my door schedule, I'm going to select count uh, family. That will be all of the different types of doors. If you want, you can um, show up every item of those. So I notice I have the same door. If you want, you can customize that so that they all sh uh, this count would go up depending on if you're repeating the same type of door. Uh, I also like to show the width and the height. And then finally, similar thing for the window schedule. Uh, this one, I do use the type mark, the count uh, family again to show what type of uh, window it is and the width and height. So I have all those available. Okay, and then uh, I also, like I said, grand total, that gives you the total uh, number of windows I have in my house, my uh, home design. Okay, the final thing I'll actually include in this video is putting this together in a sheet. Okay, so uh, I'm going to right click on new sheet and uh, ask me to save the project. And so under new sheet here, uh, as it loads up, it should give me kind of the base template to work off from. Uh, you can choose a couple different options here. I'm going to create, I'm going to use this one that I made earlier, the 22 by 34 horizontal. I made this one for Northville. Um, you can stick with the defaults there or load up one as you want to. I like 22 by 34 personally. Okay, so hit OK for that. <clears throat> okay, you see here, some of this is built in for me. You can save your own. Uh, you can rename this. Uh, I'm going to call this A101, A for architectural. Right, and you might want this to be, for example, your cover page. Um, you might have that. And so uh, this one I already renamed. This got the Northville stuff in there. And actually, let me recreate one more just so that I can kind of show you guys. Again, I'm going to go to New Sheet. I uh, have my Northville one there. Hit OK. 
And this one, A102, I'll call this my schedules. Okay, so once I'm here, I've created all my room, my door, my window schedule, and it's a simple uh, drag and drop at this point. You click, uh, drag it in, click it in. Uh, same thing for my door schedule. Okay, and then finally my window schedule, I'll also include in there. I'm just clicking and dragging. So I have all those in there. If your schedule is showing up uh, not as big as you want, you go back to your room schedule, for example, here. I can change my under appearance, edit this. You can go to uh, different text, right? So maybe I'll change this to uh, quarter inch text for all of those. Uh, hit OK. And it should be larger now if I go back to my schedules. Oops, there it is. OK, so that looks a lot nicer now. And then, um, again, at this point, I can click it, make it um, different sizing. Actually, I need to change the sizing over here under group schedule. Right, you can drag these out and make these larger as needed. OK, so hopefully that helps give you an idea of how to create your schedules and also put them into a sheet. Uh, as always, if you need help with any of this, uh, you can always message me and, uh, and I'll try to get you some help with that. Okay, But uh, schedules are there as well as putting them into a sheet.